This is a spaghetti squash. And I've had it in my kitchen for, I don't know, about a week, I guess. So I have to make it. The first time I used this, I was probably about 20 years old while I was in college. I worked at a little movie theater and for a couple months there, I decided that I would just buy random produce I've never used before and make it to see what it tasted like to, you know, expand my eating horizons. So I've made them for a few years now and I really like them. And uh, I don't know, they seem odd to prepare, I guess, if you really think about it, but they're pretty freaking simple. I literally bought this knife for this. I said to myself, I need a giant knife I don't care about that can cut through something like a spaghetti squash. So, here we are. Without cutting off your fingers, cut it in half. It's like a pumpkin. See? Or a cantaloupe. It smells like a pumpkin. Step one. Step two. So you're going to quarter your spaghetti squash, carefully. Here we are. I'm going to take out the seeds now, if I remember correctly. It's been a while, guys. Need a fork. Fork. Uh, there are no garbage bags in my tiny garbage can. Ah, okay. It's fine. Just going to scrape out the seeds like a pumpkin. Don't scrape too much at the flesh because you're going to be eating it. <clears throat> As I throw spaghetti squash everywhere. I like cooking this because honestly it doesn't really taste like squash when you're done because you can add flavoring as much as you want and it absorbs it. And the texture is nice. You'll see. So what the question is, what am I going to cook with this hmm. for dinner tonight? Probably make chicken cutlets like my brother did in my kitchen. We'll see. So I have my toast oven preheating. Um, honestly, it's going to be whatever temperature it's going to be. I think 350 to 375 is probably fine. It takes about 45 minutes in a toast in an oven. So with these bad boys facing up, you're now going to slightly olive oil them and then salt them. So it's gonna boop, boop, boop. This hand is cleaner, so I'm just going to take some kosher salt. That's really it. So you're going to place these on parchment face down. However they're going to fit. You're going to bake them for about 45 minutes or until um, knife tender. So you're going to place a knife through them and they should be tender. That's it. Done. Now you just got to clean up your freaking mess. 
my spaghetti squash is done. It was, the temperature was varying between 350 and 400 during the cooking process. It took about 30 minutes, but this is a small spaghetti squash. I did stab it, it went right through. So it's much more soft now, clearly. So the reason I call it spaghetti squash is because when you shred it, it gives you spaghetti-like strands. I'm only going to shred two of them. I'm gonna leave the other two wrapped tightly in saran wrap in my fridge until I'm ready to do something with them. Attempt not to make a mess while doing this. So. While I was waiting for this to happen, I sauteed some Brussels sprouts with uh, shallots. I made a little bit of pasta and I sauteed some chicken cutlets. And do the, these two. For this, they're already olive oiled from the cooking process. They're salted already. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Romano cheese. And that's it, I'll eat it just like that. You can do tomato sauce, you can you can do whatever you want really. Very mild in flavor and pretty filling. Full of fiber, guys. Your butt's gonna appreciate it. Or hate you. One or the other, depending on your normal diet. Hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Rinse my hands. Romano cheese. That's it, I'm gonna call it a day. Done. Wash that. Mix this up. And then these two are gonna get wrapped and that's it. That's how you make spaghetti squash. Now clean up my mess.